to finally focus on making videos once more. Did you guys miss me? Yeah, I miss you too. <laughs> uh, I miss being able to make videos on almost a daily basis. Now, you know, life is coming into me. You know, getting a driver's license and shit. <laughs> uh, this. Anyway, I've been looking up some stupid shit on the internet because you know me. I have to face the music. You know, you guys don't, but you know, I gotta make the video responses. I am the one who is cringing at every fucking moment. And I found this video. Yeah, enjoy you. Fucking assholes. Grammar snobs are patronizing, pretentious, and just plain wrong. Um, don't you mean grammar Nazis? Or is it too triggering to say the word Nazis? Because you don't want to cause any Jews who are watching your video to get PTSD somehow! Put grammar in front of the word snob, and suddenly some people feel strangely proud. I, I, I never even heard of that word. Like, I heard the word grammar Nazi. A lot of people on the internet can be grammar Nazis. I could be a grammar Nazi sometime. But, grammar snob? Are you social justice warriors really afraid to say the word Nazis in your goddamn video? And it, I've never heard of someone who's like extremely proud of being, you know, a Grammar snob, whatever the fuck that is. Like, are we talking about the internet or in real life? Because in the internet, yeah, sure, a, a lot of people could be, you know, feeling proud that, you know, they're correcting someone. But in real life, like, how the fuck does that work? They shouldn't be. Most grammar snobs use an elite and increasingly outdated form of the English language. <clears throat> and they think they're somehow superior because of it. I hardly know anyone who speaks in the old English. Like, how old are we talking about? Like, Romeo and Juliet old? Some of you who probably read the play where, you know, the words are a bit different. You know, instead of using the word I, we use ye. Like, ye looked over there, you know, that old, because I hardly know anyone who speaks in that old fucking fashion. Nowadays, we have people speaking, you know, in this sort of gangster style. Hey, honey, you want to mess with me? <laughs> I don't speak that gangster shit unless I'm around with, you know, friends. But, 
really? R really? Are, are we really going down that lane? I mean, the only groups of people that I know that could possibly fit your definition are those crusty old people back in Britain who, you know, wear fancy suits, you know, or fancy dresses, you know, sometimes having a monocle in their eye, have a nice fancy mustache, you know, sometimes having a key and, you know, having a, you know, a glass of wine in their hands, you know, and talking with this nice British accent. Mm, yes, what a glorious day. Let's show those gentlemen on what's what. Hey, cheers, friend. Mm, yes. In most cases, the mistakes being highlighted really don't matter at all. If I look around the room and say, there are less people here than I expected, does it really, really need to be pointed out that because people can be counted, I should have said there are fewer people here? This hardly happens! Unless you're talking about the fucking internet, which then yes, there's gonna be a couple of people that are going to correct your spelling or correct your grammar. And once again, we call those people grandma Nazis. This will hardly fucking happen. You're more likely to be struck by lightning than someone correcting your grammar on the fucking streets. Like, seriously, there are bigger issues to focus upon. Why don't you focus on, oh geez, I don't know, the women being raped in France because, you know, all these Islamics are just over here, you know, bringing their religion and shit. But no, we hardly hear any social justice warrior talk about that. Instead, what are you fuckers worrying about? Fucking grammar! The fact is, most of us use the words less and fewer interchangeably without much confusion. I've never been to a supermarket where shoppers are scratching their heads about the 10 items or less lane. Jeez! I wonder if it has to do anything with the fact that no one is this literate! I mean, holy fucking shit! Your entire argument pretty much defeats itself by the fact that no one, hardly anyone, is this literate! I mean, not literally, literate, literate. God, holy fucking shit, woman. We get it. Some of these snobs believe that language evolves, but grammar doesn't. That's not true. It was once considered incorrect to start a sentence with words like and or but. And what about the rule that the standard pronoun in writing should be he? There are grammar snobs who will say that we need some sort of a common language, a set of rules that everyone can understand. But all too often, they conveniently overlook the fact that the rules they're talking about aren't commonly held at all. They're just their rules. Did I forget to mention that this video is from The Guardian? Yes, that Guardian. Take the word literally, for example. I literally don't care if I'm using the word literally in the correct way according to some Elizabethan definition of correctness. And neither does the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> Irony alert! I know how you feminists act. You literally Bible from the dictionary. Well, you don't literally Bible from the dictionary, but you do in fact Bible from the dictionary in a metaphorical way. And let me explain. When it comes to the dictionary definition of feminism, you guys don't hesitate to act. You know, as soon as you start with your very first feminist argument, you know what? The very first thing you guys do is bring up the dictionary definition of feminism. But then you throw that shit out of the way when it comes to words like racism and sexism. Say things like on how racism is a power, you know, it's based on power. And so is sexism. And, you know, a shit ton of other isms. You know, you guys change the fucking dictionary like to whatever it f you feel like what it is. So you know what? You guys are fucking hypocrites. They've updated their definition of the word to reflect modern usage. It doesn't take much to see the power imbalance when it comes to grammar snobbery. 
The people pointing out the mistakes are more likely to be older, wealthier, whiter, or just plain academic. Oh, you, you got a little smudge of racism right there and, you know, a little bit of sexism. Let me just, go, let's, just let's clean that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That will do. Than the people they're treating with condescension. All too often, it's a way to silence people. So, let me get this straight. Apparently, correcting someone's grammar is now censorship. Like, you, you made a mistake there! You know, you should have said this word, you know, keep on trying that. That's apparently censorship. I don't even know where to begin. I, I, I honestly don't know where the fuck to begin. Like, the word censorship is to, to, is to silence, right? How the fuck is correcting someone's grammar is silencing them? Like, it, it, it does, you know, correcting someone's grammar, you know, automatically just shuts the person up and you know they can't say a single word anymore like do these people understand on how censorship works apparently these fucking assholes have shoved their dictionary so far in their ass that the only word that they can get correctly is feminism these people are fucking imbeciles these people are making the dictionary fucking useless. And that's particularly offensive when it's someone who might already be struggling to speak up. We should spend more time listening to what others have to say and less focusing on the grammar what they say it with. I'm going to say the same thing for a cisgender white male? Of course not. You assholes are fucking racist. You're sexist. And you're also cisphobic. I mean, I don't really use that word, but apparently it's becoming a thing now. Cisphobia. <laughs> oh. of the amount of insanity these social justice warriors are bringing about. And I gotta work on another video. The Fall of Social Justice Warriors Part 7. And it's all about the protesters. Stay tuned. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. <laughs> it is I, Captain Grammar Nazi! <laughs> Did you see me parrot that poor girl's gra 